Would you ever want a $200 million house, yo? I, I guess it would depend on the house, to be honest with you. Jay-Z and Beyonce bought a $200 million house in California. Yeah. In Malibu. They're saying they paid all cash for it, too. Listen, they acting their wage. That's Jay-Z and Beyonce. Okay? They got it. But is there ever a reason, I guess is what I'm saying, I to have a $200 million house? Also, the, the cash thing is like a... That's not exactly like a real thing. Well, you can pay cash for your down payment. But they are saying they paid the whole thing cash. You have to pay cash for your down payment, but... I mean, they could. I mean, it, it could be a tax. I mean, you, you do stuff like that for taxes sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, you got to spend the money. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think that what, what most people in this circumstance do, and I didn't know this until recently, this was even an option, and this is how, like, people with high net worth mm -hmm. can really have a huge advantage in, in, uh, in these types of circumstances, is um, you can pay... You can take a loan out on your assets, use that loan, that line of credit, oh, yeah. as cash, buy the property, and then refinance it into a mortgage. So you get all your money back. Oh, shit. So you pay off that loan, and now you have a mortgage, right? So that's how a lot of rich people pay all cash for things without actually taking their money out of the stock market or taking their money out of the investments where it's already in. Mm. I never understood it. When I would see these people in New York buying their homes all cash, I'm like, who has all this fucking money to just buy cash? But it's lines of credit against their assets. Yeah. Mm. And that's how you don't take all your money out of Google or Apple or whatever you know, uh, stocks you have your money in. Go to that first paragraph, Taylor. Very, very smart. Smart, yeah. really smart. No, that's smart. Uh, 30,000 square foot compound along, uh, along the Pacific Ocean in Malibu. I mean, yeah, Malibu is just the most expensive stretch of land on the planet. And you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to say why would you buy a $200 million house. Yeah, I was Because I can see, I, I can see, I mean, first of all, it's Jay-Z and Beyonce, so they got the money. But I can easily see Jay-Z saying, if you walked around this house, you would understand why, <laughs> why, yeah. why I mean, it's worth $200 million. My, my assumption is that their business manager, or their, their advisors are, are telling them, and, and Jay-Z is, is obviously incredibly competent when it comes to like business decisions. Of course. But they're doing the numbers on the place like this, and they're going, hey, this home and this property is going to be worth $250 million within the next 10 years. But they already got the $88 million joint. That's what I, that's the thing. You know, it's like, it's like. I think, I'll be honest with you, from what I've heard is a lot of people don't feel comfortable in LA and I've heard this is too. removed from LA. Mm -hmm. It's Malibu, but it's not LA. You're by the water. I'm sure it's gated to even get to it. They have this home in Bel Air, but anybody can go to Bel Air. Yeah. Anybody could drive right up to the fence, jump over that shit. Like there ain't that much private property. Yeah, bro. You jump over it's that almost, shit. You're gonna almost, like, what, yeah. what do you think the insurance is on an oceanfront property given climate change and, you know, like the- can, I wonder if you can even get insurance. That's what I'm saying. Like the insurance, unless it's up on a cliff, which a lot of stuff in Mal- No, Malibu's on the shore, I think. I mean, that's yeah, it right there. I think, that, I think that's it right there. Yeah, so this, I think, looks relatively well protected. But um, you can't protect against the ocean. You need insurance. Man, we need to shut our broke asses up, man. Act our ways. I think what yeah. happens when like you have this kind of money is that you don't like you and I are having this conversation right now because we think about monthlies. We're going like, how much am I spending a month? Oh shit, the taxes are this, the maintenance is this, the fees are this, my, uh, what is it? Uh, HO house of something, right. HOA is this. When you're worth billions of dollars, like, that is a drop in the bucket. Like you don't even care about the little fucking fifteen thousand dollars you're spending in insurance and this. Not even billions. Billion. Not even a billion. Oh, hundreds of millions. Not even hundreds of millions. Whatever Charlotte got. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing you care about is everybody being trustworthy and and, and crossing the T's and yeah. dotting the I's. But to, to that point, like you know, you'll see certain things and. You might not even, you know, you like, you might not this even is, look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, there's a limited amount of beachfront property located around Los Angeles, California, that has this level of luxury and privacy. Yeah. This is if you look at if you look at Malibu homes, beautiful. They're actually like lunch boxes. They're usually stacked right up next to each other. If you're having an argument with your fucking brother, your neighbors next door hearing the argument. Mm. That stretch. Like, I'd be surprised if that's actually in Malibu. I wonder if that's actually further 
up the beach, but it doesn't it's matter. Beautiful. But that stretch right there is so unbelievably rare, especially for that area of Los Angeles. And you're within like an hour, 45 minute drive from like downtown Los Angeles, mm -hmm. like for real business shit. This is to me, I mean, like it's, beautiful. it's just so rare. When yeah. you're looking at buying treasure, you're looking for rarity, right? I'm this is a piece it. of treasure. That's not even real estate. I'm like, not mad at it. It's, like, it's like buying your antique. They got that private beach right here. It's that Anguilla. Anguilla. And then yeah. have all their friends and family come. No, it's out. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I, I bet you there's not two other pieces of real estate in Malibu that look like that. No, it's beautiful. There might not be one other. It's, it's, Probably not. If it's the most expensive. <laughs> right? like, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, not even look like it like in terms of how the house is designed, yeah. but like actual physical property in oh. Malibu. Because if you look at typical Malibu homes, like look at the one Kanye owned. It's a fucking railroad. It's like Fire Island. Literally. Yeah. Perfect example. Yeah. yeah. So... God bless, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, you be looking at something like that and think that's so out of your realm of possibility and it might not be. But you got to think about what these people buy. Like, they're not buying a home and thinking that money is going out the drain. They're buying no, that's something a, that's, that's, an, that's, a, that's an asset. That's an asset. That's an appreciated yeah. asset. Absolutely. So, so when our broke asses are, 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 are looking at a purchase like that, they're like, God damn, 200 down the drain. Because the most of the shit that oh, people- I never thought that. I, I know, but I'm saying the average person is buying, looking at a purchase, they go, wow, that's 200, 200 million that are gone. I just I just want to know what the house does. <laughs> it, 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 Taylor? Oh my God. <laughs> Taylor? Ain't nobody Are buying you doing $200 this? million dollar underground. Okay? <laughs> of course it is underground, but that's not why it's worth 200 million. Okay. Um. Hey, why you Fuck you. <laughs> so we're now, guys. <laughs> just reel it in. Reel it in. Um, very funny. <laughs> the funny shit is they can't hear Taylor. I know. So they think we tripping. I they ain't looking at us like, what tell, the tell, fuck? Tell, tell, why do you think it's worth 200? Tell the people. Why do you think it's I didn't worth say it's, I don't say this is why it's worth 200. All yeah. I'm saying is I'm sure they have a secret. Underground, that's all I'm saying. So if you were going to buy the apartment or the home and they were like, this is $200 million. And I want to see what the secret highways are, yeah. That's where that's where you find the value. Why not sure. just buy a secret highway? Yeah. <laughs> Why not just build an underground bunker, Taylor, instead of spending $200 million? I'm sure house? that one has it already. That's what I'm saying. I think if it did, it would have told us in the... Uh, it, you know what? But it's it does. a secret. It does. It How, does. They shouldn't tell us. They it, do. it goes right into the ocean, too. So, like, they can, like, go down into the underground thing and walk this? out into the water. They can go out into the water, like, a half a million feet from what I was heard. Mm -hmm. So, if, like, something ever happens, the Carters will be tucked away under the Pacific Ocean. Look, and that's what I cool. expect from it. So, it is what it is. Okay. Let me be great. Go ahead. You mean let you be great? You didn't no, buy the house? No, because I know. <laughs> <laughs> let me be great. Taylor, we love you. <laughs>